it had a fishy odor to it. Like it was what, a disgusting like fish market smell. Like it was okay. Hey y'all, it's your girl Epic. The things that I'm about to discuss in this video. Please let me first say if you have any negative comments, please exit off of this video. This topic is very sensitive. A lot of women go through this. A lot of people have gone through this and this takes a toll on women in a whole. Like it's a very, very, very sensitive topic. And I will be talking about personal experiences with dealing with this. Okay, so exit off with the negative comments. And, you know, hopefully this video will help anybody out that's dealing with the situation. And just don't feel like you're alone because you're not alone, all right? So, what I'm going to be talking about today, ladies, is bacterial vaginosis. Oh, my God. I can't... I, it's so crazy that women go through this stuff like this. Like, why do we go through things like this? Like, we... Our body's such a temple and we gotta suffer through all this nastiness. Like, come on, like, especially the clean women, the women that take care of their body, the women that shower two to three times a day. Like, this is, it's madness. Bacterial vaginosis is also known as BV. That's a shorter uh, term to it. I'm on, what am I on? I'm on the CDC website, cdc.gov, all right? So it says, what is bacterial vaginosis? So bacterial vaginosis is a condition that happens where there is too much of certain bacteria in the vagina and it changes the normal balance of bacteria in the vagina. So the vagina has good bacteria and bad bacteria, all right? So basically you're losing, um, when you're low on your good bacteria, the increase of the bad bacteria you know, overtakes and then that's how you get BV. Um, how it says, how common is bacterial vaginosis? And it says BV is very common, especially in women ages 15 to 44. Um, I've gone on like different websites, YouTube channels and stuff like that. And I'm like, while I was going through my issues, trying to figure out like a, a solution to mine, I've like scrolled through the comments and stuff. And I've seen so many women talk about how they're suffering from it and they have chronic BV since a certain amount certain age and it's just crazy to see and it's sad to see that people like women really look at themselves differently like because of this issue that goes on um with their body and it's so sad like I've struggled with that for so long how you get BV it says researchers do not know the cause of BV or how some women get it we do know that the condition typically occurs in sexual sexually active women BV is linked to an imbalance of good and harmful bacteria that are normally found in women's vagina. Having a new sex partner or multiple sex partner as, as well as douching can upset the balance of the bacteria in the vagina, which places the woman at getting, you know, risk of getting BV. So yes, douching, um, not washing your hands, touching, touching yourself, like, um, changing the soap that you use, the, uh, the that you wash your clothes in, like every little thing, like messes your pH balance up. Not drinking enough water, not intaking healthy stuff, not eating yogurt, like probiotics. So many different, like it's so much things that we don't even realize that's affecting us this way. The signs and symptoms of BV. So for me, when I was suffering through this. I noticed that my discharge was like thin and watery and it had a fishy odor to it. Like it was a disgusting like fish market smell. Like it was, oh my God, it's so embarrassing to even talk about it, to even think about like my body went through this. Like it's so embarrassing and it's so scary. Like damn, like you walk around feeling like everybody can smell you. You know what I'm saying? Because you can smell yourself. Like if the odor is so strong and embarrassing like oh my god it's like one day i sat down and was using the toilet and i'm like what the fuck is that smell what the fuck is that smell oh hell this is coming from me this is coming from me i bet that's clean like i don't play when it comes to like showering and stuff like that like hey y'all uh... <laughs> bye babe yes you look good Right, 
So on the website, it says, how do you know, how do I know if I have bacteria vaginosis? These are the symptoms. Some of this, these are the symptoms that they say that you, that women may have. Um, it says thin white or gray vaginal discharge, pain or itching and burning when you're in, in the vagina, a strong fish-like odor, especially after sex, that happened to me. Um, burning when urinating, I've never experienced that. I feel like that's more like UTI-ish. Um, and then itching around the outside of the vagina, I've never had that either. I just had the fishy odor, the, the thin watery discharge, um, and the fish odor after sex. So it's so embarrassing to say that. Every time this occurred, like, I would go to the doctor and get it checked out, like, and they would prescribe me um, medication, two pills a day for seven days, um, and yeah, and then it will clear it up. But the problem with the, the medication that they give you is that it washes away all the good bacteria that's in your vagina, like, so it takes away all of that and then you have to start all over again. And then what I noticed with the medication, I would take that, I would be great. Um, I've never experienced like a yeast infection after I took the medication, um, but I know people that have experienced it and I've read that people experience that after they take the medication, but I've never experienced it. I think I did like one time and I would have to take a yeast infection pill, but that's because it's so harsh. Like it's taking away all the good bacteria in your vagina. Um, and I realized when I would do that, like BV would come back literally within like two weeks. I was using, at the time I was using um, Dove soap. I felt like, oh, because Dove sensitive. I felt like because like my body's so sensitive, like I have to use something sensitive. And then there was a time where I actually wasn't using soap down there. Um, because you know I would go on websites and I would talk to my doctor and tell and they would tell me like you know You don't need to use soap down there. You just use some hot water or your, in your hands or a white washcloth and you clean down there So I was doing that for a little while, but I just didn't feel clean. You know what I'm saying? So um, That didn't work. I just was always getting BV like for the longest time and I hated it like I was so tired of it um, this method, I tried this method <laughs> that I found on YouTube. I came across this video and basically the lady was saying like, I guess she tried it before. I'm not sure. I, I don't remember, but she, but this is what she said worked. Um, to get a, uh, a douche, empty the solution out in the douche bottle, out of the douche bottle and, um, get distilled water and Chobani yogurt. Fill the douche, um, halfway with Chobani and then the rest with distilled water. Shake it up and douche, you know, douche with that. He said because of probiotics and the yogurt that would help, you know, balance out the pH, da 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 da, da stuff like that. So I did that, I did that for probably like, a, but probably like two weeks. Um, it worked for a little bit, but it didn't, it came right back, honestly. And then I would go back to the medication. So it was just like, I'm doing all this, I'm sitting down thinking to myself, like, I'm doing all this crazy ass shit to my vagina, to myself, and it's like, I'm, I feel inhumane, I feel dirty, I feel disgusting, I don't feel like a woman, I feel like a bum, like, I, I'm walking around smelling like a fish market, like, it's so disgusting, and I'm like, oh my god, my man gotta deal with this, like, I, I don't even want to be touched, I don't want to be, you know, all of that stuff is like going through my mind, I'm like, this is just my problem, I have to deal with it, like, there's nothing that I can do about it, like, thinking all these things, you know what I'm saying, like, ugh, um, but then, I'm like, there, there has to be a solution, there has to be a solution, I went through so many different YouTube videos, I went through so many Google websites, there, nothing is helping me. So like, I'm like, there's no way. So I'm thinking like, I remember coming across, I think I spoke to someone um, and they, they recommended me to try eating yogurt and switching the soap that I used to a soap that I tried prior before when I was younger, like right after I had my son, when I was like 19. Um, and I tried to use a soap down there, which is Dr. Broner's peppermint soap. I tried to use a soap down there, but good God, did it fuck me up. It, it burnt so bad. I got a yeast infection. Like, my 
my kitty was like, it wasn't, it wasn't popping. Like it, it was on fire. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm never trying to soak again. Like it made my skin feel nice and clean, but it didn't, it did me dirty down there. But the the reason why I think it did me dirty was because I didn't dilute it, and it says dilute, 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 dilute on the bottle, like in plain sight. So I wasn't following instructions. But um, yeah. So she told me switch my soap to that, um, probiotics, um, and alkaline water. I don't want to say her name on camera, but shout out to you. I really appreciate it because, you, girl, you saved me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I did some research to figure out which yogurt had probiotics in there. I didn't like taking probiotics or, like, going to GNC and getting the tablets and stuff like that because they taste disgusting. Um, so, I went got yogurt. I eat Activia yogurt now with live probiotics in there and I don't know why I never was doing this before and I was inserting yogurt into my vagina and I didn't think about taking it in and let it go through my body like I don't I don't know what the hell I was thinking but the thing and the problem is I don't like yolk the texture of yogurt like it's just so slimy and it's so blue and it's look but I force eat, I force eat it. Like I take big scoops and I don't even swish it around in my mouth. I just scoop three big scoops and I finish the yogurt. I eat about three to four yogurt today. Swear to God to prevent getting <laughs> BV. And let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Activia saved my coochie, okay? Activia and Dr. Broner saved my coochie. But thank you. I'm so, so thankful. Thank you, Activia. So thankful. That right there, the pro, the live probiotics in there. Oh, my God. When I tell you, I feel so much better. Like, I don't have to do crazy research. Like, I don't have to go walk around feeling crazy. All I got to do is eat mad yogurt, and I'm good. And it's good for your digestive system too. Like, ladies, why don't we think about these things? Feel like we can eat every and anything we want. Like, we not niggas. Like, we can't. We gotta take care down there. Everything we eat and do affects down there. We get, we notice everything first. Our body tells us. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it's crazy. But I'm so thankful that I came out that. I DM'd her and asked her because she's so brilliant. Like, she just knows so much. My gut was just telling me, like, don't be embarrassed. Just ask her. And I'm happy I went for it. And she saved me. Like, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. Now I can walk around like, bitch, I'm cute. Bitch, I don't got BV. Okay? Like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. But, yes. Yeah. So, ladies, if you haven't tried it yet, you can go to GNC, right? AC, any of those places that sell like probiotics and stuff like that. You can get the probiotic tablets, or you can just eat yogurt. Eat a whole bunch of yogurt, and, I'm, and I promise you, you will notice. Eat four yogurts a day. That first day that you eat four yogurts, the next day the smell will be gone. Promise you, because that's what I do, and I do not have that issue no more. I will not be going back to the doctor. I will not be. I'm not doing that. I'm not putting them tablets back in my body to take away the good. No, I'm not I'm not doing that no more. I refuse. Like I just gotta start eating healthy. I gotta start taking care of my body. I gotta start drink be drinking more water. I gotta drink alkaline water. You know what I'm saying? Like I just gotta do better. That's it. I gotta do better. Like so yeah. So ladies don't be embarrassed because so many people go through this. Your salute. This can be a solution for you. What I went through, my solution, what I've learned. This can help you. So, give yogurt a try. Switch the type of water you drink, and be mindful of what you intake in your body because it plays a big role. And don't be out there. I mean, do what you want, but wear condoms and stuff like that because men be throwing off pH balances too. I'm sticking their fing dirty fingers up in you. And, and they nasty tongues. You don't know what the nigga is doing on the side when he leave you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
and him having sex with no protection with the next bitch and they coming to fuck you like that'll throw off your ph balance all, all that stuff you gotta take into consideration this take care of that all right think about you first all right take care of you take care of you baby all right so hopefully this video will help you ladies out who's suffering um Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, it's your girl Epic signing out.